A TPMS sensor is not connected by wires to any component of the vehicle. It uses radio waves to transmit the status of the tire. So what causes a TPMS sensor to transmit? Let's look at the scenarios next. This video is sponsored by LaunchTech USA. Solutions with the power to perform fast and accurate OEM level diagnostics and repair. Visit LaunchTechUSA.com to learn more. First, when a sudden change in pressure is detected, the sensor should transmit whether the sensor is stationary or moving. If you can't get a sensor to transmit using a dedicated TPMS tool, try deflating the tire for 10 to 15 seconds to see if the sensor is still operational. When the tire starts to roll, tiny accelerometers cause the sensor to wake up and start broadcasting at regular intervals. In rolling mode, sensors transmit on average once every 30 to 120 seconds. While parked or in stationary mode, depending on the manufacturer, sensors may transmit only when a significant pressure change is detected. The only time a sensor receives a signal is when a TPMS tool activates the sensor by emitting an electromagnetic pulse. Some vehicles can also do this so the sensor transmits as soon as the vehicle is started. If you see an exciter antenna in the wheel well, the system will probably behave this way. So why doesn't the sensor transmit all the time? Well, it wouldn't last very long. By only transmitting at predetermined intervals and when there is a problem, the sensor may last longer than 10 years. But what happens if a signal from a sensor is not received? The TPMS system will not turn the light on if a single transmission is not received. It takes multiple missed signals. The system knows that a lost or garbled transmission might be an external issue, like a sensor on another vehicle transmitting at the same time, or interference from the sensor being behind a brake caliper. It's like a misfire monitor. It only sets a code if the problem reaches a specific threshold. But when the battery inside a sensor dies, it can no longer transmit and it will need replacement. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.